Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge day by day. In day 11, we will expand your knowledge of arrays by using 2D arrays. Arrays within arrays. This means that each element of the outer array is an array with its own elements. This pattern is sometimes referred to as a matrix or a grid. Today, we will be learning to work with 2D arrays by looping over the 2D array, as well as doing some matrix arithmetic. Our goal today is to find the maximum hourglass sum in the matrix. An hourglass sum is the sum of the values that fall into this pattern here. In a 6x6 matrix, there are 16 hourglasses. This is because we cannot have an hourglass on the first row or the first column, as well as the last row or the last column. The center has to start in the second row and go to the n minus 1 row and n minus 1 column. What we need to do is to find the value of all hourglass sums and return the maximum value. How are we going to do that? Well, just like you can loop over an array with a for loop, you can loop over a 2D array with two nested for loops. We will loop over all rows in our outer for loop, then loop over each column for each row in our inner loop. Then, for each cell in the matrix, we will calculate the hourglass sum at that location. Just like in yesterday's longest consecutive ones challenge, we will be keeping a counter of the maximum value of hourglass sums we've seen so far. And if the current calculated hourglass sum is greater, we will set the max value to our current value. To calculate the hourglass sum, we will sum seven elements. The element above it, or A, the element above it and to the left, A then the element directly above it, B, then the element above it and to the right, C, the element itself, D, the element below it and to the left, E, then F, then G. When we have looped over all possible hourglasses, we will print our max hourglass sum. Now that we understand the problem and know our approach, let's dive into the code. HackerRank has already given us some code to handle the input. First, it creates the R variable to be the outermost array. For each line of input, it splits it into spaces into the R temp variable here. Then it converts all the elements in the R temp array into integers to put into the RT array. Then it appends that row RT to the outer array R. Each line of input is thus converted into a row array in R. This means that when we access R in the form A, I, J right here, it will represent the row I and J will be the column. So let's set up our double for loop to loop over the 2D array. We know that the first and last row, index 0 and index n minus 1, can't have hourglasses, and the first and last column also can't have hourglasses. So our two for loops only need to loop over rows and columns 1, 2, 3, and 4. That means we can just set our double for loop to go through the range 1, 5. This will make an array starting at the first value and ending just before the second. Then, for each element in our matrix, we will calculate the hourglass sum and track it in current hourglass sum. That part is going to get to be a lot of steps, so we'll just skip it for now and assume that we have a method that can give us the hourglass sum of an element in a 2D array at a certain location. If the current hourglass sum is greater than the max hourglass sum, we will set max hourglass sum to the current hourglass sum. Note that we should initialize our max hourglass sum to be the minimum possible sum. Since each element in our 2D array is between negative 9 and 9, 
Our minimum possible value for max sum is an hourglass of all negative nines, which sums to negative 63. Then when the double for loop is done, we will print max hourglass sum. Seems pretty simple. And in fact, this is how you should tackle most maximum value or minimum value problems that you encounter in interviews dealing with arrays. The nuanced part of this question is how to calculate our hourglass sum. Let's go back and implement the get hourglass sum method. We will start our sum at zero and get the seven elements that make up a sum. The element above it and to the left is going to be summed by getting the element at row minus one and column minus one. The element directly above it is going to be summed by getting the element at row minus one and column. The element above it and to the right is going to be summed by getting the element at row minus 1 and column plus 1. The element itself is going to be summed by getting the element at row and column. The elements below are summed the same way as getting the elements above except adding one to the row. When we are done summing, we'll return the sum. Great, so we've made a 2D array to loop over all the possible elements that have hourglass sums, get their values by this method here, and see if the current sum at that element is greater than our max sum. If that's the case, we set our new max sum. Finally, when we're done looping over everything, we'll print our max hourglass sum. Let's run our code to see if it passes. Great, we passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. Awesome, we solved all the test cases. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed yesterday's video, please click here to review it, or click here to view the full HackerRank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you wanna see me solve other problems, please comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.